Hey YouTube, what goes on? And welcome back to Disabet Action Figures, bringing you Toy Hunt episode number 321. Back at Ross on MacArthur Road here in Allentown, Lehigh Valley area. Gonna see if we can find some bargains. They've kind of been dripping things out here from time to time still. So I was nearby, figured I'd check it out. But before we get to any of that, if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free for you, it does not cost you anything, and it helps us grow the channel tremendously in the March to 6,000 subscribers. While you're at it, go ahead, click that bell for notifications. That way YouTube will notify you and tell you when we post new content here on the channel, like our weekly toy hunt reviews and live streams. Then so comment down below, hit that like button. And for daily toy content and daily toy updates, try checking us out over Instagram and Twitter at disavowed underscore 12. Let's see what they have inside. All right, so I haven't even scanned yet. I'm just jumping right into filming today. So we have a Transformers Rise of the Beasts Optimus Primal, I guess, mask, $14.99. Uh, some turtle stuff going on. We have the Miles Morales giant figure. Uh, looks like here we have young Jedi stuff. Never seen this here before. That's kind of neat. Nothing for me, but I definitely can make a cool gift for somebody or if you collect it, of course. Um, I don't even know what I'm trying to find here anymore. I, I think they, I used to look for X-Men Retro. They kind of stopped showing up. I think we saw this at some other places already in bargain stores, this, the Superman. Uh, down this way, looks like we have a Death Storm still sitting here from McFarlane stuff. Shout out the pack photo. Loving his McFarlane. Same thing with Toy Gains. Look at that. I'm making McFarlane friends, right? Uh, down here, Jurassic Park. But nothing that I'm looking to pick up. I'm going to try to get into the peg area. They're from stocking there right now, so I'm not going to film if they're still stocking. I'm going to be in their way. But let's try to move around see so we can find her. All right, so back at Cedar Crest Target in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Last time we were here, they did have a lot of holothon stuff. Uh, I'm not here for that. I want to see if they have any new G.I. Joe Classified or any other Marvel Legends stuff that wasn't here. They had none of that out last time. It was all just uh, the older MCU stuff. So let's see. So it looks like some of the NECA stuff for Holothon is still here. We have Baxter. Uh, that's new. Batman Digital. I've never seen that before. Rebirth. It's kind of cool looking for what it is. For my collectors of McFarlane, let me know what the heck I'm looking at right here. Is it something new or otherwise? In the back, I know that's new. I haven't seen that before. Uh, looks like there's some other Holothon stuff potentially here too. Shredder, Eastman. I think we saw that last time too. But the Batman stuff, as I said, I'm pretty sure is new. That's kind of cool. Check that out. We got the Voltron. That's pretty awesome. What's he do? Huh. All right, that's cool. That's fine. And then Batman looks to be. Yeah, the same one back there. So let's keep looking around. Let it be said that this Target is usually the slowest in my area to actually reset or put new stuff out. Uh, it's rare I find anything that new here. Uh, so Spider Shot's still here. That's still here. So for the quick cut, I was getting a weird look from a, a local lady. It's kind of weird. I was just kind of staring at her as I was filming. So I stopped. <laughs> uh, they're probably getting ready for a reset here because check this out. This whole section is just a freaking dumpster fire right now. Check that out. Hulk. So, uh, yeah, I'm not thinking we're finding too much here. So it was kind of cool to see the, the McFarland stuff out front because everything else here, even the Jester section is pretty, pretty empty. DC on the side, older stuff. So, yeah, so looking like not a lot here. I'll look around, see if maybe we can find an end cap of stuff, clearance or something or otherwise. But this store is uh, pretty, pretty not good. <laughs> pretty, pretty ineffective if you're a toy hunter right now. So let's look around. I can't recall I showed this to you last time. These are all this freaking mouse jaw thing. I mean, look at this all the way back over the top. So there are tons of these sitting here. Uh, tons of the three packs. These will definitely hit clearance. They'll be at the half off store eventually, like they all usually are. But yeah, nothing really going on in this location. They have those thrown over here on clearance. There you go. Need a, a Stanley, Stan, Stanless, Embark, whatever the hell that is. Yeah, okay, let's keep it rolling. There's really nobody here. Let's go over to the mid NECA section. So last time I was here, we saw the Gargoyle here for Holothon, and that seems to be gone. Uh, we still have Steel Clad Robot here, Conjuring, Predator. Yeah, nothing else for us here. So we're going to get out of here and probably go to a GameStop or another Target and kind of keep moving see what we can find here. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the sh 
you don't do Well I'ma make hella sure that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah I'll tied up my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt Been stabbed in the back, bed. I'll show you what happens Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to games, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to games, let my money show I Target, as I always say, the only target I've ever had a chance in hell at finding a Street Fighter figure at. Uh, I did recently buy Dalsum online, so I did a review. If you want to check that out, that's your sort of thing. You want to see what he's like. I freaking love the figure, and now I'm hoping to find M. Bison. So, uh, overpaid a little bit, but it was worth it. All right, let's see what they have. Hey, it's the uh, final boss. There he is. All right, so shot right back here, and there are all the Fei Longs. <laughs> so they sell tons of Fei Long here. These are not going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, but evidently, they do not have any of the new Street Fighter stuff out, which is why I overpaid to get Delson because, frankly, I really wanted that freaking figure. There's Christopher Walken, I think, right? Um, but yeah, other than that, nothing over here for me on the collector wall. Ro Roger Rabbit's pretty cool, but I don't collect those reactions. Uh, Andre still sitting back here. Um, nobody back here. It's just like walk past the pops, 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 pops. Then the NECA section. And let's see what they got going on here. Is any new stuff for Holothon? I think they restocked on that for Holothon. I saw that cedar. Here we go. That's new. I haven't seen this one yet. So, nothing I need, but it's cool. I did have, I think it was Raphael in the spacesuit when I was a kid. So, it's fun to see for the first time here. Uh, Frankenstein, Flash Gordon stuff down here. We've seen, I think, multiple times already. I don't think we saw it here, though. But we've seen it. A bunch of the old metal heads. Gargoyles, Goliath, Conjuring, Predator. Is this Holophon? Let me know in the comments. I think it is. Uh, there's a bunch of it here, though. We've got a Robocop restock hide in the back. Thank you for being a friend. Restock on her. Saw that at Cedar as well. Don't know if I showed it, though. Up top, we got Wednesday. It's a Tuesday right now. Uh, but yeah, that looks to be pretty much everything back here in the collectible section. So let's go over and see what's going on in the Marvel Legends and other stuff section. And check it out, I spoke too soon. They do have their entire Holothon end cap out. So there is the Punk Disguise Turtles four pack. How many of those do we have sitting over here? Two of those. We have the last Ronin. This is the, the last Ronin thing I was thinking about that is new for Holothon. Uh, we do have the Adventures Samurai Usagi Jimbo down here. Let's check him out. It's cool to see. Again, nothing I'll be planning to pick up. Business suit K uh, Casey Jones, very awesome. I love that split. Uh, foot soldier it's really cool two of him so oh then check it out we do have one two three four all four down there plus prey so all i saw was leonardo the first time around but now we're seeing michelangelo the party dude we're seeing Raphael. he's cool but rude cool to see him over here as well i think the package is open there there you go and donatello so yeah cool seeing these over here for sure so fun fun and new stuff and they shoved this over here for some reason i don't know why and then up top we've seen these all before i think we saw these at the other target that red casey i think is old but yeah fun seeing harder to find stuff. and starting over in the jurassic jesser section here for jurassic park 30th anniversary nothing here that i'm seeing it looks new again i look at this all the time but honestly i don't think i truly look at it because i don't collect them so uh, if there's anything there that was new let me know in the comments tmnt turtles we got some, one new Tuscan Chieftain going on. All Lando's behind them. Oh, there's some more up top. There we go. Cad Bane restock, Pike Soldiers. We've seen these before, but it's fun to see them again. That two pack is still sitting here from last time. And a lonely red velvet. I think she, she's the only AW figure here, which is absolutely freaking insane. They finally got rid of the Nyla Roses and the Murder Hawks. It's amazing. All those Hulks, Trish Stratus. Nothing over here for us, but again, I'm pretty pumped to sell that NECA stuff, even though I don't collect it. It's just fun to see, you know, Holothon stuff, because I know a lot of people are out there running around trying to track it down. But let's see how the other side looks with the Marvel and other things. And I came out hoping to find new Marvel Legends, and I have not. <laughs> there is nothing here. Uh, what are these tags? These are the Spider-Man tags, so they should be putting some stuff out soon, it looks like. Um, actually, no. These are still the older tags, aren't they? So, yeah, it's a bit of a bummer. Uh, all the Doc Ox are gone. I think they had four of those here last time I came. Down below, Mutt and Junkyard. 
uh they have two of these here we saw this in wilkes a few weeks ago again i'm almost out on joe's if they quick kick i think i consider getting quick kick i don't know why it is something about him i've always liked i guess karate stuff or whatever uh plus i kind of want to make him fight my, fight my street fighters <laughs> so down here dc multiverse stuff again pretty pick through here transformers pretty dead as well so really all we got to see here that was really that exciting was uh the uh hall -a stuff that's kind of been hard for people to find so i think we're done here i don't know if we'll stop anywhere else let's go out and see what goes on Check this out, they are clearancing out a ton of NECA collectible stuff. Uh, that's uh, Ultimate Dream Warrior down to 20. Over here we have TMNT uh, down to 20. Down here we have Gargoyles down to 25. They're finally, looks like they're finally clearancing out these Splinter Shredder 2 packs. I mean, they're just clearance tags everywhere I look back here. McFarlane and Mega Pack, 25. Uh, five bucks, what's this for five bucks? Toonie, the Toonie Tears looks like Michael Myers. These are all ash here, though. Uh, $15 for a green arrow. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. So, like, there's a ton of stuff here, a ton of tags. Obviously, maybe not everything on the peg is um, correct, but just the fact that they're clearing out the, almost the entire collectible section of all this older stuff, they're finally making moves to get rid of stuff here at the local. So, that is pretty crazy. Uh, but with that said, I think we're going to call it a hunt there, everybody. Ooh, that, that pulls me in. Uh, call it a hunt there, everybody. So if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free for you. It does not cost you anything. and helps us grow the channel tremendously in the march to 6,000 subscribers. While you're at it, go ahead and click that bell for notifications. That way, YouTube will notify you and tell you when we post new content here to the channel, like our weekly toy hunts, reviews, and live streams. Leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. And for daily toy content and daily toy updates, try checking us out over at Instagram and Twitter at disavowed underscore 12. Hey, everybody, if you're going toy hunting this week, please try to remember the three P's of the toy hunt. Patience, persistence, most of all, politeness. Take care. Stay healthy. I'll be seeing all of you at the pegs.